Shalom Aleichem and welcome to Online Smicha. So this time of the year, there are many sales in the stores, and even the stores on the internet have, uh, offer special discounts, special sales. It's the shopping season, and it would be right to discuss a halacha that uh, happens quite often and see what, what the halacha spe- says about it. You know, you order something, uh, either in a store or online, and uh, they say uh, either you're free shipping or that you pay for shipping, and your order will be delivered, let's say, in a week or two. They guarantee the order delivered in a week or two. Uh, sure enough, you're anxiously awaiting for your, your, your things that you bought. A week passes, you don't see it. Two weeks passes, you don't see it. <clears throat> you call up the company and say, I paid for my item. They check it up. Yes, you're, you're paid for. I haven't gotten the delivery. Says, really? All right, let's wait a little longer, and we'll see. So he waits a day or so more, and he calls back and says, I still don't have it. So they say, fine, we'll send you a new one. They send, this, they send you a new uh, item, uh, clothing or uh, electronics or whatever it is. They sell you a, a new one, send you a new one, and guess what? Sure enough, by the time you got your, your new piece, this first one came at a late delivery, and now you have two pieces in your home. And the question becomes, what does halacha say? Do you have to return, now that you have uh, both of them, is, it, is one, are you obligated to return one of them? Or that's part of the system? How would the Torah look at such a thing? So to analyze this, the place can say that this, is, this, is, this will fall, fall under the category of Hashava Saveda, of returning a lost object. In many ways, this is like a lost object. Intentionally, people are not giving things out for free. This is because of a mistake, something. So they felt that they were supposed to do so. Uh, so we could, we could uh, analyze this from the angle of a Shavas Aveda. So let's start from the first thing. The store owners, the, the internet sites that you're buying from, are not necessarily Jewish. Does that make a difference? So the halacha in Chayish Mishpat Simen Reish Samach Vav, Si'if Aleph, Avedas Ha'akum, a guy that lost an object, Muteris, you're allowed to keep. However, however, the im zero the kadesh hashashem, if you return it with your, your intention was, uh, look, they'll say how nice the Yidin were, the special people, Hashem is, Hashem is great. Kadei shiifaru as Yisrael, so the Goyim should praise the Jews. The yedu sheim balei amuna, they should say, wow, these, these Jews are trustworthy, honest people. So even though you could keep a Goyish Aveda, but the Halacha clearly says it's praiseworthy for a person to return even a Goyish lost object. So if we're going to look at this extra item as a Aveda, maybe the dry letter of the law says you could keep it, but if you want to follow what the Shulchan Aruch says to be Meshubach, uh, perhaps you have to give it back. Now, returning the item costs money. If it costs money, do I have to pay the shipping to return it? So even this is mentioned in the Shulchan Aruch. Typically, when somebody finds an Aveda and he's on the way to return it, if it takes a lot of money out of his pocket to return a lost item, even a yid, the halacha says that all expenses to return an item, I could say, I'm not interested. I, I, I want to have a mitzvah, very fine oil. A mitzvah of a Shavas is important. But if it costs me a lot of money, you can't ob- obligate me to use my own money. And that's what the halacha says. And this is mentioned in Hilchas Aveda, Simon Reis, Samach Dalid, Si'if Aleph. That even though the halacha says certain scenarios, certain cases, you don't have to go out of your way to help somebody and return his lost object. Yet, the Shulchan Aruch says, If it's a small amount of money, if it's talking about a large sum of money, then you're right. But if we're talking about pennies or a stamp or something small, maybe a dollar or so, obviously the Shulchan Aruch doesn't give you a limit of what's considered small, what's considered significant. But the Shulchan Aruch does say, if, even in a case where you're not obligated to return the item because it's costing you, if it's costing you small amounts, lefnim is sure as and on the on the better than the letter of the law. If you want to go lefnim is sure as it's best if loyal don't be so picky. 
And, and if you're not getting a big loss, try to help out. So now we have two, two halachas that we have to take consideration. That A, even if it's a Goyesha company, it's at Kiddush Hashem, you do apply the rules of a Shava Saveda. And B, even if it's going to cost you, if it's going to cost you 50 bucks to return, I understand. But if it's only going to cost you a small amount of money, Shulchan Aruch says, yeah, you shouldn't be medactic. Now, so, that should be the, that should be the, the story. With when you buy something, a store, delivery, should you return it or not? Here comes another halacha. The halacha is, how about if you see that the individual who's losing the object knows that he, he lost it, and he doesn't care. He's showing a lack of care to get it back. For example, in Simon Reis Samach Aleph, Si'if Dalit, it says, If you see an individual that's intentionally losing money, doing things he's losing money, and he's doing things he's lo- he doesn't care to lose his object, he's careless. Ain't this cocking loy. You don't have to go out of your way to help him and keep on giving back things. The guy, it's, a, it's what we call a Aveda Midas. An Aveda that a person lost that he's searching and looking for it, you have a mitzvah to give back. If a person is intentionally losing things, he's careless, he doesn't care, you don't have to go nuts to give it back to him. So a Aveda Midas is mutter. That's what the Shulchan Aruch says. So let's speak about, let's, add, let's connect this to our case. A store owner who sends you a second, a second uh, item could, when you, uh, the way to categorize it, that it should be considered a Veda Midas, is one of two ways. Either you call them, or you send them an email, and say, I got, I got two copies, what should I do? So if they, if they, if they don't respond, try once, tr- try twice, that would be categorized a Veda Midas. They're careless, they don't care, this is part of the way they do business. You know you did your part. You don't have to spend any money. Or even if they do respond, and they want you to return it, then, then it will depend on the halachas I mentioned before. But then there's one last point. The last point is that you have to take into consideration that these companies have that part of the plan. They have part of the plan that part of the customer service is that if a per- thing gets lost in the mail or whatever, they, they, take the, they, they bite this bullet and they are willing to spend, spend the extra money to send you another one. Because of that, it might be considered a Veda Midas, Again, if there's a lot of money uh, to send it back, you definitely don't. If you feel that you're going to make a Kiddush Hashem a small amount of money, you may, but you don't have to go out of your way to do it.